Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about my 40 ton hydraulic forging press that I built myself and uh, it's a great tool to have in a workshop, definitely my favorite machine. Uh, first I'm going to talk about the frame, then the hydraulics and then the controls and the dies. So the base is just a metal box that's like 75 and 75 centimeters which is about 30 inches and 60 centimeters tall which is about 23 inches. Here is the hydraulic tank and the motor and the pump. The frame itself is made out of C-shaped beam and I welded some uh, flat bar to it to make it stronger so it goes in a C shape like this and the horizontal parts are made from this uh, massive L shaped beams this one here and there is another one here I run all the hydraulics, controls and wires inside of this U shaped or C shaped beam so they don't get damaged the ramp itself uh, runs up and down guided by these uh, metal bars. This side is welded and this side is bolted on so I can unbolt it and remove the whole ramp. The ramp itself is like this big uh, U-shaped piece. Uh, I made the ramp so tall to keep it from twisting within the frame which is especially important when you have two pistons instead of one. I wanted the press to be small as possible but the, with the biggest possible operating space so this is like 50 centimeters across 19 inches or something and the ram goes up and down about 30 centimeters which is 12 inches or something. So let's talk the hydraulics. The hydraulic fluid gets sucked from the tank through these two hoses and it goes into this twin pump driven by the 5.5 kilowatts motor which is about 7 horsepower motor and then the hydraulics get pumped up into the machine. Here the hydraulic hoses are connected into one and it goes up into the hydraulic switch. Here on the back side of the press the fluid or the hydraulic oil goes from here to the switch which is operated by the lever here and it just divides the pressure to go up into the cylinder or down into the cylinder. And it's the same on the other side, it goes into the top of the cylinders or down into the cylinders. Right here is a hydraulic pressure gauge that I can see from the front of the machine so I can tell uh, about the pressure it operates. Uh, the top pressure of this thing is about 3000 psi which is 200 and 10 bars, but I usually use it uh, at a lower pressure like 2000 psi or something. The switch also have this regulator that allows me to control the outgoing pressure which is super handy when you are working on some thinner stuff and then the hydraulic oil gets back into the tank through this hose. The oil goes back into the tank through this filter. This is the main control lever. I made it so wide so I can use it with my right hand or my left hand. And it moves the hydraulic switch. And by this linkage it goes down to a foot pedal.
it makes a lot of noise and wobbles a lot but the control actually is really responsive and precise. If I want to switch the dice, I just simply unlock them and take them out. I had these plates uh, plasma cut for me, so they are exactly the same. I can even rotate, rotate it 90 degrees. Originally I had this assembly uh, much thinner and it just got bent and everything was really, it was really a weak spot of the whole machine. So I welded like a 25 millimeter, another 25 millimeter and 18 millimeter, which is like an inch, another inch and three quarters of an inch. So it became kind of overkill, but that's my strategy, weak spot to overkill. Watch this. About like 25 of these plates so I can always just weld whatever I want on them. This tool is for drifting. This one is for bending 90 degrees. I have this thing uh, that stops the ram going up. And the same thing here that stops when it's going down. I really want to make these two stops adjustable so I can set the different height that the ram will stop going up or going down. I think it would be a really handy feature. I also want to put some switch in here that will automatically uh, make the controls go up. Some spring loaded thing here that I can just turn on and it will automatically make the press go up every time. So that's about it. If you have any questions uh, about the press just write them in the comments and I will answer all of them. Um, sorry about my English, it's a second language. And uh, thanks for watching and now let's watch it destroy some stuff. I love the smell of hydraulic fluid in the morning. It smells like pressure. <laughs>